My name is Merka Jelona and I'm from Western Equatoria. I work for a civil society organization known as South Sudan Democratic Engagement Monitoring and Observation Program, Sudan in short. We are an organization that focuses on governance and democracy, conflict mitigation, and gender mainstreaming. But when all that, in all our programming, we have a human rights lens because we believe that until the legal framework is strong, until we provide the governance, the right governance system, it's difficult for us to talk about protection of human rights. So our work is to defend rights, to facilitate enjoyment of those rights, and protect human rights. Today's webinar is very important because it's education, and I think education is key both for both girls and boys. But for, for the purpose of this discussion, I would want to say that education, girls' education has a long-term effect, a long-term benefit to the society as a whole. It's not a one-time thing. It's commitment to educate somebody is a long journey. And that journey is worked as a community, but most importantly, parents have a role to play in that. Personally, I would say from my experience that I was privileged because both my parents were teachers and the importance of education was emphasized to a point that we all knew with my siblings that education is key and there's no shortcut, there's no way you want to drop out of school. However, I come from a unique state and you may all know the story of Western Equatoria. Many girls find themselves for one reason or another dropping out of school at the point of either primary school or secondary school. They barely get to a level of getting their first degree. And I think initiatives like Eva Girls is very important because then it creates environment for everybody to see the importance of education. Even girls who come from families where their parents may not understand the importance of education get the opportunity to benchmark with their colleagues and the motivation to continue with the education from primary and they see their older colleagues go to secondary level. And I think that's a very beautiful concept. What I always find important is that if you look at education per se it's it's a tool that is it's a lifetime tool that is given to both girls and boys and women who are educated are less likely to find themselves find the, themselves in a situation where their rights are violated so if you look at education it's an instrument for protection of human rights and protection of women from violations in the society. I want to thank all who are attending this webinar today because it is a commitment and it's not a one-time commitment. It's a long commitment for somebody's future and hopefully the young girls that we will support through this initiative will be able to give back to the society. And specifically, I want to thank the founders of Eva Girls and those who, are, who continue to support Eva Girls and the new donors that we will get to join efforts. I appeal to people from South Western Equatoria, people from South Sudan, people from all over the world to invest because if we educate these girls from Western Equatoria, they not only become an asset for Western Equatoria, but an asset for the nation and to the world and some humanity. Thank you.